Although uh, speaking to Scar before the meeting, he was saying that uh, he's had one or two 5,000 metres, then 12 and a half laps of the track. And there's Gabri Selassie, 172, the newly crowned world record holder. Scar alongside him is Sanga there, another uh, Moroccan, very, very strong Moroccan squad here, including uh, Hisu, Chumasi, and Jabour. Jabour, an athlete who uh, really streaked into the world's elite last year with 13.08, virtually unheard of before 1993. Scar, as I was saying earlier, has had uh, a glandular problem for a couple of weeks, but has shifted that now, and uh, that was confirmed with uh, a respectable 3,000 metres run last week in Jena, Germany, where he ran 7.45. One here last year, Scar. Paul Donovan of Ireland, right on the inside in the pink shorts and white vest, will be the pacemaker through the early stages. Donovan going straight to the front, running up the back straight now. They're running into quite a strong wind. Going down the home straight at this moment in time. There's Gebra Selassie, 172. 239 is Lalafi, a 1315 man. Seems like the whole Moroccan squad is here. Could be the Moroccan Championships. Also up there at the moment is uh, Joseph At Machuka. There's a lot of his training up in the northwest of England. But Donovan running out of good pace at the moment. They'll be wanting to lap in around 62, 63 seconds. There was talk earlier in the week of an attempt at the world record with uh, Scar against uh, Gebre Selassie, but I'm not sure that'll happen now. It's uh, pretty cold out there, and as I've said, a wind up the back straight will uh, certainly not assist them in any uh, attempt at a very fast time. So Donovan leads them from Lala from uh, Lalafi. Scar in third place at the moment. You can see Gebre Selassie there, top left-hand corner of your screen, talking about his personal life. Of course, a great deal of media attention centering around the young man over the last uh, couple of weeks after that world record. Says he likes to watch MTV on his uh, television back in Holland and Eurosport. Plays a lot of computer games. Donovan world-class 3,000 metres man in his own right. A useful miler as well. But uh, choosing certainly at this stage of the season, perhaps in preparation for the more important races that will lead him into the European Championships to do some pacemaking. Going through 800 metres there and around 2.6 and Scar and Gabriel Selassie, the uh, two men keenest to go with this pace at the stage. 2.98 there, Salah Hissou back in fourth place. 0.95 so they're moving along at a very respectable pace Donovan doing a good job there in front had a best last year of 88-90 and that looks very very close so Donovan still driving along at around 63 per lap pace Scar, with that choppy little style of his, very, very compact. Remember, he's the man with such a vicious kick. Again and again we've seen Scar sprint away to victory. Very strong mentally to the Moroccan. Says his favourite session is 10 by 1,000. How anybody can regard that as a favourite session is beyond me. Gebre Selassie, well, no doubt the young man's had a lot of attention on him in the last uh, 10 or 12 days, and that uh, might have drained him a bit. It's one thing setting a world record, it's another thing coming off the back of it and continuing to run well and uh, handling all the uh, media attention and other requirements made upon you, or requests. And at the same time, trying to fit in some uh, training. Has said that he's going for uh, the World 10,000 record in Lausanne. Later in the month, Gebre Selassie. And uh, no doubt he's putting in some hard training for that. So very difficult for the men like him who are uh, in high demand, being offered a lot of money to compete in races like this, to decide when to train and when to stop and race. And inevitably they go into some races pretty tired.
but at the moment he's tucked in in third place behind Donovan the pacemaker and Khalid Scar two more Moroccans behind him Lalafi and Jabur and gaps beginning to develop now as this 62 63 second per lap pace takes its toll Running very, very fast here. Well outside world record schedule. I don't think there's any chances of uh, records being broken tonight. Perhaps a stadium record. But uh, Donovan there, check it over his shoulder just to see what's going on behind him now. As he approaches the 2,000 metre point and steps off the track after five laps. His job done, and he's done a good job too. So Scar finds himself in the lead. Gebre Selassie happy to sit in in second place at the moment. Three oh seven, that's Mohamed Chumasi of Morocco, only a thirteen twenty two man. Did that back in nineteen ninety one, Chumasi decided he hasn't had enough of time at the front of this field. And allow Salah Hisu now to take over at the front. Isu, only 21 years old, pushing it along at a good pace. Virtually unknown though, Isu. Isanga there, struggling, couldn't go with this pace. Next time they come round to the finish line, it'll be 3,000 metres. Gebre Selassie. Not travelling a great deal slower here than in his world record at Hengelo last week. Remember his uh, final kilometre at Hengelo, very, very special indeed. 2.20. And Jabur there. Very similar in build, Hisu and Jabur. The Lafi as well. Well, Hisu checking his watch there. 7.55.71 at three kilometres. There's an enormous great clock just down to his left if he'd bothered to look at it. Wouldn't have been any need for him to do that. 238, that is Jabur in fourth place behind Scar. Well, Hisu not moving at a particularly fast pace here. He's running around 64 seconds per lap, and I think Scar will be pleased with that. He won't want a lightning fast time tonight. He'll just want a victory and something to bolster his confidence. Gabriel Salassi looking across at a big screen at that end of the stadium. So they can see what's going on behind him without the inconvenience of stretching round and looking. But this pace has slowed significantly now and Scar responds by putting in a fast burst and Gebre Selassie goes with him. That's a very, very impressive change of pace from Scar, still with some four laps to go. Who's gone with him? None other than Gebre Selassie and the others struggling to uh, respond to that. Hisu and Jabur back in third and fourth, but with four laps to go. Gabriel Salassi doesn't seem to have been troubled by that at all. The crowd really enjoying this 5,000 metres as uh, things close up again. Scar easing right off there. Just put in a burst of three, um, 300 metres in around 44, 45 seconds to see what the rest of the field would do. And he got his answer. Some of them were still quite fresh enough to go with it, especially Gabriel Selassie. I could have told him that without asking. So 298 then, back in the lead is Hisu. Doing a lot of the uh, front running here, Hisu. Whether or not that's pre-arranged, I don't know. Isanga there goes through, 238, he's beginning to struggle. Still moving at around 13.15 pace though at the front in the uh, overall time. Now Gebre Selassie, with just, uh, just over a couple of laps to run, really needs to think about making a move now. He's got one kilometre to go and he must know about Scar's kick. He's a vicious finisher, Scar. You can see him there in the purple and yellow trying to uh, make a bit of room, trying to move out. He wants to cover any break that uh, Gebre Selassie might make, at, might make at this stage. And I really do feel that Gebre Selassie, if he's done a good, work, good uh, bit of homework, will know that Scar is fast, will know he needs to clear out and drag that sprint finish out of Scar's legs. And if he doesn't go soon, he's going to leave it too late. Two laps to go now as they approach that finish. There it is, around 11-11, with two laps to go. And that group has moved right away from this second pack. But uh, the pace has been up and down, up and down. 
but a little bit slower really than I think Gebre Selassie would have liked. He looks very comfortable there in second place. He does have a very good kick finish, although he's well up sprinted by Sigai at the uh, World Cross Country Championships when he came third back in March. But now Gebre Selassie makes his move. At last, the little Ethiopian, only 21 years old, remember, kicks down the back straight with just over a lap and a half to go. Scar responds, stays in in second place, and this is just the situation that Scar loves. Tucked in there behind somebody, just sitting on their shoulder, waiting for the finish to come into sight but there's well over a lap to go yet and can Gebre Selassie build on this pace as he did in Anglo to break away from anybody with him and indeed to run a very fast time Gebre Selassie just glancing quietly over his shoulder there to see what's going on but they're well away 12 13 and a half at the bell Gabriel Lassie really needs to explode down this back straight to try and drag that last 100 meter sprint out of Scar's legs. No doubt about it, it's between these two now. A gap of some 30 meters has been opened up between them and the rest in the last lap. But Scar almost chopping his stride there in behind the Ethiopian. Gebre Selassie then the newly crowned Ethiopian world record holder at 5,000 meters up against it here with one of the biggest kickers in the world right behind him. The first ever Ethiopian world record holder at any distance on the track and Scar kicks into the straight. Gebre Selassie, can he respond? Scar so determined, so strong mentally, timed it perfectly there. And I don't think Gebris Lassie can do anything about it, or can he? Look at this, Scar responds when he sees the Ethiopian coming back, and he does just enough as the tape has reached. 13.10.51, a final lap there of around 57 seconds, and most of the running over the last 200 metres. Very, very close race indeed, but uh, Gebris Lassie doesn't seem too unhappy with that defeat, despite uh, being world record holder from some 10 days ago. <laughs> Well, Khalid Scar got all the answers he needed tonight. The sprint finish is still there. And what's more, he has really got rid of his sniffed at either. 13.10.51, very fast running. They're jumping again, and I think the heights are probably secondary importance to her in the early part of the 1994 season. Khalid Scar. Multilinguist. Speaks Arabic, English, French. Great picture there. Gebre Selassie didn't really move wide enough, even if he had uh, had the acceleration to get past Scar. He was almost running into the back of him. Scar didn't move out. I thought perhaps he was at one point, but uh, no. Scar stuck to his uh, inside lane line. It was Gebre Selassie who just didn't really have the acceleration to get past him. Just too tense to get past him. Just two tenths of a second. Lalaf 